abstractions um, is probably one of the most challenging things, especially when you're a PA. Um, you could be really busy with something, for instance, setting up um, a meeting with 20 other directors across the globe, trying to get all the PAs on the line, you've got to do it at a specific time, and someone will come up to your desk and say, can you print me 10 copies of this? Can you call so-and-so for me? Can you get this into this person's diary? So that is a really big challenge, is having to prioritise yourself every time and literally being able to move from one um, job to another, uh, just yeah, switching continuously. So, I think it's really time management and also being recognised as an important part of the company. Uh, a very important point came up this morning in the career development course where they indicated that nobody is just a PA. You need to remove the word just from that sentence and we're all guilty of it. We all tell people, I'm just an office manager, I'm just an administrator but it's recognising what we actually do as part of that company and how we support all of the directors and the managers in the day-to-day -day roles and help to achieve the company's targets. I guess multitasking is one of them. Um, I work with two directors, so kind of making sure that they both get the sufficient needs meant to make sure their job is effective. Um, I think you have to keep a level head um, and also just keep focused on, the, on what you're actually dealing with at the time. Um, and not to panic and, uh, and just know that um, any information that you shouldn't sh share um, and don't be allowed to be pressurised into trying to share that information because sure. I work in the security industry and sure. um, sure. that's a must. In my role particularly, uh, because I'm home based, it can be difficult, uh, you don't always get the office interaction, you don't always see what's going on uh, and as the Chief Executive's PA it can be difficult to get that sense of the office atmosphere when you're not actually in an office. Um, meetings over the phone can be difficult because you get long silences when nobody says anything where if you were in the same room you'd be able to pick up on body language but over the phone that doesn't work. Um, however, uh, I enjoy meeting the challenges. I've been in the job for just over a year now uh, and I can honestly say it's the best job I've ever had. Yes. On a daily basis, I think ba dealing with diplomats is a bit different from a regular PA because firstly the language barriers, I mean even though they're Middle Eastern and I, am, I speak Arabic, I don't think they understand the concept as well as a regular company would. Uh, but the people I deal with are like Foreign Commonwealth Office and my daily jobs would be PCNs, council tax, it's very menial jobs but very pressurised because they are exempt from quite a few things and you need to know what they are exempt from and what they are not exempt from. And um, other things like general writing, communicating are the challenges we face all the time and last minute jobs that come up and we need to complete them. Deadlines are always well, well past deadlines. Um, other than that, I mean basically it's regular PA job aside of the uh, the FCO and all the other government departments we deal with. Um, so we've got a lot of challenges sometimes with prioritisation and, and a lot of diary management and making sure that well, you know, my bosses are on the right path um, as I manage four um, um, heads of at the moment um, and the rest of their team. So sometimes it can be quite conflicting but um, in general, yeah. On a daily basis, because I work for the Environment Agency and also we've just been through a big major change um, a lot of our workers around the country, so networking with other PAs helps, especially if you're going up travelling a lot. Um, and also, the things that we do work wise has changed a lot, so courses like this really do help. One of the, the challenges that I face is I'm, I'm based in the North West, and the director that I'm PA to is actually based in Yorkshire, so we don't have much face to face time. Um, so that's probably the biggest challenge of how to provide the support that I would usually give to somebody who's sitting in the office next to me, but over that distance, so um, like over the computer, over the phone, those kinds of challenges, and, and working in a different way really. Yeah. I think the main one as a PA is dealing with other people, um, both in managing your expectations, training your boss, as a PA is vital, and really good PAs, the boss doesn't even know they're being trained, 
Um, but people management, I think, is one of the most, is one of the best skills. That and communication. Um, without those two, you're really stymied. Um, and it is a question of dealing politely and at times very firmly with the people you come into contact with. Um, day to day, every day is different. Um, obviously it depends on the, the type of company you work for. Um, the fact that it's different is good because then you're, again, you're bringing new skills and new experiences to the role on your day to day. And the challenge is, is um, it can be anything from, uh, you know, kind of spontaneous tasks that could be really um, difficult, however, you know, being able to kind of learn new skills and obviously the PA Life Training course, um, be able to apply that and get a better outcome with the knowledge that you've had that skill to put towards that. So. Multitasking, um, the time management and, and being a PA you are often the one who has to listen all the time and I think that is something that you, it's not measurable and I think for you to, to have your personal skills, it, it says so much, so many elements to being a PA that you have to bring to the job and that's quite a challenge in a day, it can vary so much. Yeah.